Welcome to my channel, Innova World. Today, we are going to discuss a topic on effect of aspect ratio. Aspect ratio. Aspect ratio of a wing is a ratio of its span to its mean chord. It is also equal to the square of wing span divided by the wing area. Now, how the effect of aspect ratio depends on. A long narrow wing has a high aspect ratio whereas a short wide wing has a low aspect ratio. Aspect ratio and other features of the platform are often used to predict aerodynamic efficiency of a wing because the lift to drag ratio increases with the aspect ratio improving fuel economy in aircraft. There are several reasons there are several reasons why not all the aircraft have high aspect ray wings. There are majorly four factors size, structural, maneuverability and drag. When it comes to sizing or the airfield size, generally high aspect ratio wing gives slightly more lift and ensures sustained ensure lift flight. Whereas low aspect ratio wing are the best for swept maneuverability. How it affects based on structure or effects on structure. As we know a long wing has a high bending stress for a given load than the short wing. Therefore requires larger or higher strength structural design specification. Longer wings may have some torsion due to given load and in some application this torsion is undesirable. The longer it is the more it tends to bend. To overcome the bending you need a strong wing which means you need more material and when we add more material to the wing it becomes heavier which in turn means you will produce more induced drag in flight. Eventually the structures need of high aspect ratio design outweigh the benefit of the design. Effect on maneuverability. A low aspect ratio wing will have a higher roll angular acceleration than one of the highest aspect ratio because high aspect ratio wing has a higher moment of inertia to overcome. Its steady roll and the longer wing will give a higher roll rate because of higher moment arm of aileron. The longer your wing is, the less the maneuver it is. This is because longer wing have a high moment of inertia. So longer wings generally has less roll rate and the shorter wing has a more roll rate. Low aspect ratio wing usually use fighter jets not only for higher roll rate but especially for longer cords and thinner airfoil involved in supersonic air flight. Now effect on drag. High aspect ratio wing creates less induced drag. They have greater parasite drag. This is because for an equal wing area the average core is small. Due to these effects of Reynolds number, the value of section drag coefficient is an inverse logarithmic function of the characteristic length of the surface, which means that even if the two wings of same area are flying at equal speed and equal angle of attack, the section drag coefficient is slightly higher on the wing with the smaller cord. However, its variation is very small when compared to the variation in induced drag with changing the wings span. How can the induced drag be reduced? Increasing the wing span, that is aspect ratio, a airplane with a high longer span wing has a less induced drag and therefore greater efficiency. But structural considerations becomes a dominant factor. A very thin long wing requires a large structural weight to support it and 
there comes a point where the advantage of increasing structural weight needs to support the increasing wingspan counteracts the advantage of decreasing drag due to small vortex effects. An aircraft with a compromise aspect ratio and which also consider a factor such as fuel capacity, control characteristics, size allowance and numerous other factors which gives an optimum performance. High aspect ratio wing are the major advantage because the wing tip has a less area where there is a less vortex or induced downwash which means a lot less induced drag. Induced drag is a most significant at low speed and high altitude aircraft and since high aspect ratio wing have less of it they perform very well in takeoff, landing, climb and cruise flight. In addition, in high lift curve slope conferred by high aspect ratio is useful on takeoff and landing when the reusable angle of attack is restricted by the demands of ground clearance and the pilot vision. Now the question may rise why stall on 2D faster than 3D? In 3D wing allows for air to flow over the wing tip into the low pressure zone over the wing thus reducing the overall pressure differential and reducing the overall lift. This explains that stall at higher angle of attack because the additional flow over the wing surface energizes the air. The flow separation happens when the kinetic energy is equal to the pressure energy. Now next question, how does the aspect ratio of the wing impacts with the lift? The wing formula, the wing lift formula shows that lift of the wing is proportional to its area that is L equals to Cl half rho v square into S defines coefficient of lift, rho defines free stream air density, V defines true air speed and S defines plain view wing surface area. There are few applications for high aspect ratio so this high aspect ratio is used mostly for the gliders which requires high lift to drag ratio and for aircraft requiring long range high endurance low induced drag should have long span and likewise high performance whereas application for low aspect ratio requires three thick cord because of high speed effect like space shuttle and therefore it is very poor in glider and short span like fighter aircraft i F hope this session was very useful for you guys subscribe to my channel for more updates and don't forget to share this video with your needy fellows bye bye take care